Hello and welcome to the domain video for SQL Power Architect Enterprise Edition. To follow along with this video, you can download the Enterprise Edition yourself from www.sqlpower.ca slash architect. In this video, we will show you how to create your own domain for use in a data model. If you've already watched the data type video, this is a very similar concept. The difference between a data type and a domain isn't how you use them or how you want to define your data model. A data type is usually used as an underlying type in your database implementation, like a Boolean, integer, or varchar. Domains are used as a conceptual type. These could be something like a postal code or a product code that you want to use across your entire project in a consistent manner. For this demonstration, I will be creating a domain that's of a country. For this table, we have a customer table and we want to have a country field, but we may not want it to be a varchar all the time or want to have additional constraints. To create a domain, we go under the Enterprise menu, Domains and Data Types, to the Domains Manager. In this Domains Manager, we have different categories. You can create your own categories or get an administrator to do it for you. And each user also has their own categories so they can create domains specific to their needs. To start, I'm going to create a domain under the admin user. And this editor is very similar to the data type editor. At the top, we need to define a logical name. With the logical name, we need to define a data type. The data type is the default for all the fields in the domain editor. We can choose to override them as we go or we can just use the defaults defined by that specific data type. In this case, I'm going to be using varchar, as it's a good default for our country. In the generic tab, you'll see that the physical name is already set for us and cannot be edited. This is set from the type that we defined above. Precision comes from the data type that we chose above. The precision could be set to be variable or constant. If it's variable, we can choose our own precision for this type. If it's constant, we have to use the one defined in the data type. In this case, I'm going to change the precision to constant so that we can specify a specific precision for all of our fields. Additionally, we can define constraints. We have several options, being check constraints or enumerations. Check constraints allow us to add any kind of constraint that we want to the data type. Enumerations will allow us to specify a set of entries that can be used for this type. For this demonstration, I will create an enumeration and specify a few countries that will be in use in our data model. The first country I will add is Canada. The next will be US and finally Mexico. Now when I press OK, the new domain will be created and we can use it in our data model. To use the domain, simply go to edit an existing column or create a new column and go down to the types till you find the domain we created. Now that I've selected country and press OK, the type will be in use in our model. When I forward engineer this, it will be forward engineered to a varchar as we defined in the editor and use the constraints as well 